Hello guys and girls, Itai here. We are in Chicago right now in front of this uh, beautiful United Express uh, Embraer 175 operated by SkyWest Airlines. And uh, this is the first of a series of videos about the Embraer's uh, normal procedures. Uh, we're doing that in the field there. Um, Embraer on uh, Prepare 3D V4. Uh, I'm doing that uh, now. It's uh, now December 2022 as uh, Flight Sim Studio is uh, uh, planning or getting close to launching a uh, uh, their own version of the Embraer 175 and uh, you can check out the uh, uh, review video that I did on on uh, the previews that we that we all saw on YouTube and I broke down what we could see uh, and one of the biggest um, concerns that I had, or not concerns, but like um, things that I would prefer to be um, fully good and functional in the uh, the new add-on, is that uh, us uh, pilots could actually practice the real flows, and um, as we do in the real uh, aircraft. So um, here I am doing the flows on the older add-on that's already been available for a few years now, and... Um, I just want to walk you through what we're doing. Um, it's not, it's modified. It's not exactly what my company does. Um, and unfortunately, I cannot even provide you a decent check because I could not find a decent one online. And I cannot provide the, uh, the one I'm using uh, in real life. But I will guide you through what we're doing in general uh, all the way through the start. So um, uh, this one is, uh, we just got to the gate, the airplane is powered off, is completely cold and dark, so it is about time to wake up the airplane and do the safety power on. So safety power on, uh, just as it sounds when the airplane is completely shut, do shut down, usually uh, fresh and early in the morning, we would have to uh, um, power it on, the objective is to, po to uh, get it on power, on AC power. Um, so uh, we can start working on uh, the airplane. In our case, we can see that the uh, ground power unit is already, the GPU is already connected. So we will connect that. Um, we could do this procedure based on the APU. Uh, we will do that based on the GPU. So then uh, later on, when we continue to the video on the before start, the APU startup uh, would be part of it. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the flight deck and uh, uh, start working. So here we are, completely shut down airplane. It is cold and dark. It is actually very cold because Chicago is uh, uh, is in winter right now. So uh, as uh, we can see, basically at this point, the entire crew would enter the airplane and everyone needs to go about their job. So uh, uh, if I am the captain, I would want to review all the paperwork, but the FO, the first officer, would want to step outside and do the walk around. The flight attendants are in the cabin and they need to prepare their own things. Uh, so we want to start up the um, the uh, um, uh, electrical power as soon as we can so everybody can do their job and then we will proceed with our flows. Uh, so safety and power on. Uh, we actually have a list and like a checklist and it's a, uh, a read and do as and, and we can do that alone. Each crew member can do that on their own, the first one to get to the aircraft. And uh, we do that silently. We just simply hold the list and perform each item. So maintenance status checked. So we basically want to see that the uh, the uh, technical logbook is uh, here in the airplane and nothing, no discrepancy is open. Typically, if um, uh, if the book is missing from the plane, it's because right now, as we speak, the maintenance personnel might be working on something on the airplane. So the last thing is we do is to start flicking switches and powering on certain systems that might be uh, worked on right now. Uh, that could be dangerous. So maintenance status is checked. GPU switch is out. That's the one. <coughs> and you can see it's available but not in use. So it is out. APU in, as in this uh, let's see if we can actually sh show this. So these switches, uh, when we say out and in, literally we mean, okay, the GPU is not actually out. The APU is in, as in the, the, the switch itself, the button itself. Uh, AP so GPU out, APU in, battery 1 and 2 off. 
Okay, uh, fuel DC pump and AC pump one and two, and that's a DC pump. Emergency light off, windshield wipers off, um, hydraulic system one, two, and three B electric pumps auto. So one, two, and three B auto. Hydraulic system 3, electrical pump A, off. Landing gear lever, down. Down. Start, stop, 1 and 2. Stop, it's those right here. Oop, move in the wrong direction here. Start, stop, stop on 1 and 2. Um... Speed brakes lever closed. Thrust levers idle. Uh, slat flap lever agrees with surface position. Typically, um, uh, we can see if the uh, flaps and slats are not up. They should be up normally. If for any reason they're not, they should agree with their position. In our case, it is up. Um, battery, and now at this point we can start powering up the airplane. So battery 1 and 2 on and auto. So battery 1 on and battery 2 auto. Okay, now we're in a state of what we call electrical emergency. Okay, it's just a, an expression because this is when we don't have any AC power sources connected is just on the batteries okay um, so displays two and three available so again we have displays one two three four five so two and three are available okay additionally we have the uh, standby instruments we have the uh, MCDU2 we have the CCD1 that's basically the cursor control for this display here Okay, and we have the clock, uh, obviously the uh, compass, which is not connected to anything, and we have the uh, audio control panel ACP number two. I don't believe I missed anything, but I'm not actually staring at the book right now. So displays two and three want to verify that only them are available. ICAS messages, that's a mistake with field there. I hope they fix it in, in, um, uh, in uh, Flight Sim Studios. So uh, ICAST messages non-enunciated in the first five seconds. So you could probably uh, hear as soon as we turned on the batteries, the uh, ICAST messages uh, started uh, turning on. That shouldn't be there. So non-enunciated for the first five seconds. Battery 1 and 2, at least 22.0 volts minimum. So right now we have 28 and 28. That's actually a mistake uh, because they're not being charged right now. They would realistically show anything under 24 so 23.67 would be realistic anyway we don't want to see anything below 22 if it's below 22 but above 21 we can still power up power up the engine uh, that excuse me uh, keep the uh, airplane going uh, but we would have to charge the batteries for a little while according to a chart we had if it's anywhere below 21 uh, we would have to uh, make a maintenance write up but they would have to come up and see it see what's going on so um, uh, that's the uh, battery voltages. Fire extinguisher checked. So we will check it right now. Okay, so it's not a complete check, so I won't talk about that, but we are doing the check anyway. Later on, I will talk about what we're looking for. M maybe it's better when uh, the AC power is, con is uh, engaged. Uh, so um, fire extinguishers are checked. And then uh, electrical power, air conditioning established. So since we have the GPU connected, we'll just hit that GPU button. Now from available, it goes in use. And at that, we have connected the airplane to AC power. Safety and power on checklist complete. 